I'm Dr. Kristen R. Bromley. This Guitar 101 series, which is part of my online music academy, is a beginner through intermediate level guitar course similar to the in-person ones I teach at the university. The course progresses from complete beginner through gaining capability in playing songs in various styles and covers playing chords and melodies and reading chord symbols, tablature, and standard music notation. With the Guitar 101 course, we use three of the books from my Method Book series, Chords and Harmony Books 1 and 2, Note Reading Books 1 and 2, and Tablature, which are all available for purchase through Amazon and Google Play. Links can be found in the description below or at kristenbromley.com. You are of course welcome to participate in this course with or without the books, but with the books you can play right along with me on all the songs and exercises as intended. Plus, each book comes with exclusive access to additional hours of in-depth video lessons that go with each part of that book. If you find this Guitar 101 series helpful, please like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's get to jamming in this week's lesson. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. I'm delighted that you're here joining me in the Guitar 101 series. This is lesson 12 in that series. So we've got a lot of fun things happening today. We're going to continue to work on the finger picking. So we started finger picking with the chords last time. We're going to be applying that to some songs, learning some new patterns. So that's going to be fun. We'll continue to do that. We'll also continue to review some of the chords we've done in the past. And today we're even going to branch just a little bit into the bar chords. So the bar chords are kind of the big uh, physically most demanding type chord that we end up playing. So we're going to start working on those gradually in the series now starting today. We're also going to look at the note reading of course and we're going to be working on the top four strings. So that D string is kind of new. It's pretty pretty much brand new to us. Just a little bit of introduction last time and we'll go ahead and continue reading with those notes and then we're going to continue to work in the tablature. So it's going to be great. Let's go ahead and start with a little warm up with the chords. So we're going to start on pages 50 and 51 in the chords book. We're going to play these songs. We'll start here with America the Beautiful. We're going to use down, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, up, three, up, four, up. Just keep that going, even where we have two chords bar, bar, which is right there in the second to last measure. Okay. Oh, so here we go. Oh, Kumbaya. We're going to practice a little bit with the capo. So I'm going to put the capo on at the third fret. And we'll play a little bit with the capo. With this one, especially with that F chord, with the index that tends to like shoot a little bit this direction, I usually put the capo just a little bit further back. Now my guitar allows for that and hopefully yours does too. I just don't want it to, to cramp my finger there. Okay, same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Give us the two beat. Pick up and then we'll be in. Kumbaya. Here we go. Kumbaya. Take it even faster here. Kumbaya.
Okay, we'll go over and do Get Along Little Doggies, number 11. Leave the capo on there at the third fret. We're in three, four times, so we're going to switch up that strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, one, two, up, three, up, one, two, up, three, up. So, as, as I was walking one morning for pleasure, I spied a cow puncher riding alone. His hat was thrown back and his spurs were a jingling. And as he approached, he circle be unbroken. I'm going to take the capo off. We'll go back to practicing without. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. That's what we'll use here. We'll do this one a couple times, but the first time we'll do it a little bit slower. One, two, and up, or up. Here you go. Will the sun Ready and will the sun to page 59 we're going to do numbers 16 and uh, 17 and 18 so starting with number 16 battle of jericho take it nice and slow just studying this story in the old testament yesterday so here we go a down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, ready, and Joshua. This strumming pattern, when we have two chords per bar, we can switch chords on that first up strum. So we're going to anticipate because we're not actually playing at the exact halfway or the start of beat three, which is where the second chord comes in. So in that second to last bar, we're going to go down, down on A minor, and then up, up, down, up on B7, and then we're going to E minor. So let's do that a couple times. Okay, let's 
let's play this song again. I want to ready and Joshua. Seventeen pop music progression K two. We're gonna go down, down, up, down, up. One, two, up, three, up. Here we go. One, two, three. Scarborough Fair, number 18. So, same thing, three, four time. One, two, three. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Remember me. One, two, three. Okay, so let's go over to page 60 and we'll do number 19, the Erie Canal. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, up, three, up, four, up. We'll just keep that going even when there's two chords per bar. So I am one, two, ready, and I. Let's go over and do some tablature now. Okay, so here in the tablature book, we're going to start on pages 32 and 33. We're going to review numbers 39 through 41. So we'll start with number 39, I Need Thee Every Hour. We're just going to catch that one beat pickup. It's in 3-4 times, so I'll give us a 3-1-2 in the count in, and then we'll catch beat 3 there. So this one's got the dotted quarter notes, 1 and 2. With the tablature, the goal is to mainly just hear it 
orally and then play it and use the tabs, the actual fingerings there, to help us learn how to play that. But to mostly be playing it intuitively, which you can pick up from playing it along with me, you may need to just listen to me play it and then try and play it or and then try and play it along with me. So those are good techniques, but with tablature it's really important to know what the song sounds like before we actually go at it. Okay, so here we go. Three, one, two. Okay, let's do the Camp Town races. This one is on pages 32 and 33. So after playing those two lines at the bottom of page 32, got to make sure and go over to page 33. This one's in 4-4 four, four time, comes in on beat 4 in the pickup, so I'll give us a 3 beat count in, and then we'll catch that beat 4. 1, 2, 3. Okay, we'll do 41, Rock of My Soul. One, two, ready, and... Okay, let's flip on over to page 34 and 35. We'll do some new ones, number 42 through 45. So we're going to start with 42, the whole world in his hands. Now this one has a first and second and third endings. So there at the end, the last two measures, the first time we come around, we take the first ending, we're going to repeat, and we go back to almost the beginning, the beginning really minus the pickup measure, and then we play it again, the second time we again take that same ending, because there's a number two written there, we're going to go back, and the third time we come through, we'll take the third ending, and that'll be the last time we play the song. Now with this one, we've got and, four, and, in the pickup measure, I'm going to count us one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one. We'll be in just like that. One, and, two, and, three.
three off. Okay, we'll go to number 43, Amazing Grace. Now with Amazing Grace, we have a triplet. So triplet is going to be three eighth notes in the place of one quarter note. So we get just in the first couple measures, you've got two triplet. And then we don't have one. But here comes another one. There's a couple spots with that, the two that I played, and then on the last line there's one more. So just beware, we've got some triplets happening. We're going to come in on beat three in the pickup measure. We're in three, four times, so I'll give us three, one, two as our count in, and then we'll catch that beat three. Three, one, two. It's one of my all-time favorite songs. Okay, number 44, Snake Charmer. We're in 4-4 four, four time. We come in on 4 and in the pickup measure. So I'm going to give us 1 and 2 and 3 and is our count in. 1 and 2 and 3 and... Okay, oh Mary, don't you weep, number 45. Got a little bit of syncopation, but no pickup measure, so let's give us a four beat cannon. One, two, ready, go. Okay, we'll go back to the chords and work on the finger picking now. Okay, so back in the chords, we're going to continue to work on some finger picking, which we started in lesson 11. So, starting on pages 64 and 65, let's review picking pattern number one, which is thumb, index, middle, ring, or P. letter P represents the thumb, I represents the index, M represents the middle, and A represents the ring finger. So P, I, M, A, thumb, index, middle, ring. As a review, we assign the index finger to plucking the third string, or the G string, the middle finger to plucking the B string, or the second string, and the ring finger to plucking string or the top string and then the thumb plucks whatever note is the bass note of the chord so the lowest note of the chord which is going to be on string four five or six so which one ever whichever one it's on that's one we're going to pluck right now playing an E minor chord because it doesn't require the left hand at all and we're plucking the sixth string with the thumb so the low E string on thumb, index, middle, ring, which is what we worked on and learned last. 
last time. If we go over to page 65, we can practice this one with the progressions there on page 65. So we'll just take it through the uh, progressions. We'll start with number one. So you got one, two, ready, go. strings if you want to. Okay, let's do number two. One, two, ready, and... Okay, let's do number six. So starting with E minor. Here you go. One, two, ready, and. Seven. Let's try taking it a little bit faster in the right hand. So, one, two, three, four. The goal is to keep a nice natural arch in the right hand. So if you're collapsing and having to pull, that's going to be tough. We want room for that sort of one-handed clap, the closing hand motion. Most of the strength is going to come from this big joint, and maybe we get a little bit of movement in the smaller, smaller ones, but not much. Okay, so now we're going to add a couple more patterns to our plucking repertoire. And then we're going to play some songs with these. So we're going to start with the one on page 65, number 22. This one is similar to what we've been doing, but adds a couple plucks. So it goes P-I-M-A-M-I. -M -M Thumb, index, middle, ring, just like we've been doing, but then comes back, middle, index. So P-I-M-A-M-I. -M -I. Thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index. This one's a four time, six to eighth notes, and we can play it in three, four time. One and two and three and so you want to get used to playing that in three, four with the E minor chord. So just play that together a little bit. Okay, let's do number six with this one. Out there on page 65, so in the, the finger picking practice progressions, number six, starting with E minor. One and two and three and. Do number 
number seven. One and two and three and. three starts with a D chord, so one and two and three and... Our other picking pattern now, which is back to page 64, but it's number five. With number five, we're back in 4 4 time. Everything is going to alternate with the index finger. So it's like thumb, index, middle, index, ring, index, middle, index, P, I, M, I, A, I, M, I, P, I, M, I, A, I, M, I. We're just going to warm this up on E minor, get it nice and comfortable. Okay, so let's go over and we'll do number one uh, using that picking pattern. So on page 65 in the finger picking practice progressions, we're going to do number one using the finger picking pattern number five. It's like a tongue mouth full twister. One and two and ready and go and... So it'll be in minor now. One and two and ready and go and... Number two, P I M I A I M I, starting with A. One and two, 
ready and go and So starting on A minor, one and two and ready and go and... Okay, so we're going to do some songs now. We'll use these three patterns when we play these songs, mostly the two we learned today, but if you need to, these two are interchangeable on page 64. If you'd rather do number one, you can. I'll mostly be using number five, but if you need to use number one, if you're still trying to get the coordination down, then that's A-OK. -okay. But let's go ahead and jump to page 19, and we're going to do number five, Shenandoah. So, starting there on page 19 with number five, Shenandoah. We're going to start with the P I N A. We want to try and get it going a little bit faster than what we were just doing. So I'm getting it going on the first chord. Going, the pickup is going to be O oh, and then Shenandoah. When I start singing right at the top, so let's get it going on G. Sometimes it just helps to get that going. Here we go. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to see you away. Okay, so now we're going to try it with number five, B I M I A I M I. So just get that going on G. Okay, so let's go over to page 21. We'll do number 8 now, Amazing Grace. Now this one is in 3-4 time, so we're going to use our picking pattern for 3-4 time. So on page 65, number 22, that was our 3-4 time pattern. P-I-M-A-M-I. -M -M -I. So get that going on the G.
so we'll go on over to page 44 now. We'll do number 8, Danny Boy. We're going to use number 5, picking pattern number 5 from page 64. So the P-I-M-I-A-I-M-I. -I -I. Now if you need to use number 1, that's okay. You can use that one instead if you need to. They're sort of interchangeable, but I'm going to do it with number 5. Just try and get that going. to page 53 and we'll do number four 900 miles so this one's going to be an E minor instead of E major we're going to use the same picking pattern so P-I-M-I-A-I Okay, so we'll go over to page 55 now and do number 8, Wayfaring Stranger. We use that same picking pattern, P-I-M-I-A-I-M-I. -I -I -I. be an A minor though instead of E minor. I'm just... So let's get it going on A minor. Traveling through 
best I go When over home Okay, and we'll go over to page 56 and do number 11. So the last one, this one's in 3-4 times, so it'll allow us to practice with that pattern for 3-4 that was on page 65, number 22. P-I-M-A-M-I. -I. Get that going. I have wondered. Okay. Find that starting pitch. some notes now. Okay, so in the notes book, or in lesson five, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of review. Starting on page 26, we're going to do numbers three and four. So number three, get us warmed up with those notes D, B, and F. D sits down under the staff, E the bottom line of the staff, staff and F the lowest space of the staff. D and F. So here we go. One, two, fret D, and. Three, four. Okay, we'll do number four. One, Two, ready, and. Let's turn over to page 28 and we'll do numbers 7 and 8. So Worried Man Blues comes in on beat 4. I'll give us a 3 beat count in. 1, 2, 3. Thank you. 
Okay, number eight. We ever pray for thee. One, two, ready, and... Okay, let's go on over to page 30 and 31. I should say pages 30 and 31. And we'll do numbers 13 through 15. We're going to start with number 13. So, we just did this one in the chords. Now we're going to do it in the notes. It comes in on beat 3. I'll give us 3, 1, 2 in the count off. 3, 1, 2. Okay, number 14. This one starts right on beat one, so I'll give us a three beat count in. One, two, three. Okay, and we'll finish with number 15, page 31, Amazing Grace. This one comes in on beat three. So I'll give us three, one, two, and we'll be in. Three, one, two. Okay, we'll go back to the chords to end this lesson. Okay, so as we finish off this lesson, we're going to learn a couple new chords. Really, one new chord and a different way to play a chord we already know. So we're going to be in lesson 11 on pages 66 and 67. We're just going to start here on page 66. So the F chord that we've known is a four string chord. We're going to take a look at the six string. So a fuller version because it's got two extra notes down at the bottom. It sounds bigger. They're really just octave doubles of the root and the fifth makes the chord sound fuller and bigger. So this is the six string version. Now this is our first bar chord, although actually the four string F is a bar chord too because our little index finger has to bar over two notes and play two. This is a full bar chord. Our index finger's got to bar over all six strings so that our index can play the first fret on the sixth string, the first fret on the second and first strings. So big bar. I push that sideways. 
I'm pushing down the strings from the side of my finger, not, not directly on the back or on the front, I guess you could say. This is more the front, but just a little bit to the side so that I get this kind of motion, same as when I was playing the four string version. So I'm gonna push that down and then add my other fingers. My middle is at the second fret on that third string. My ring is at the fifth fret on the, uh, or at the third fret on the fifth string. And my pinky is at the th third fret on the fourth string. Six rings. So this is going to be the start of bar chords for us. The cool thing about bar chords, which we'll end up learning a few lessons down the way, is we learn one shape and then we can move it all along the neck. So right now we're just trying to build up the strength. Play that as an F chord down there. So that's F. The other chord that we're going to play is C7. So C7, we just take our, the regular C chord and we add our pinky to it. Third fret, third string. So I have my index at the 1st fret, 2nd string, my middle at the 2nd fret, 4th string, my ring at the 3rd fret, 5th string like normal, then I add my pinky to the 3rd fret, 3rd string, let the top string ring open and don't have the bottom string ring at all. Now, when going back and forth from C7 to F, if I leave my ring finger down, I can pivot everything right on that finger, and that's how I choose to do it. So I don't have to completely reset. And you may want to practice going back and forth a little bit between there. So we're going to go ahead and do He's Got the Whole World in His Hands, number one. If you need to, you can play the four string F and just practice C7 for now. But we're going to be getting into these bar chords ever so gradually. So it's good to try and start getting the strength to play that one. He's got the we're going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. Here we go. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Let's do it once more. He's got the whole We'll go over to page 67 and do number three. I'm choosing songs that don't have B flat. Next time we'll worry about learning B flat, but we're not gonna worry about learning B flat today. Lost my partner. Down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, ready, and lost my partner. What will I do? Lost my Once more, a little bit faster. One, two, ready, and lost my fast, but you can work the strumming that fast if you just need to work on strumming. Okay, so that wraps us up for this lesson. I hope you're having fun learning the guitar. In the next lesson, we'll continue to work on some finger picking and reviewing chords, the note reading, the tablature, and so on. 
we'll also be getting a little bit more into these bar chords and so got to do a little bit of that and start getting into those chords because they happen now with some of these there is a simplified version that you can play if you just can't get the bar happening just yet and you can use that until your hands get stronger but we're going to start getting into some of these new chords so it's going to be great take care keep having fun playing the guitar if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.